It all started with a dream. In 1936, Bob Wyan sold his beloved DeSoto Roadster for $350 and opened a little restaurant called Bob's Pantry in Glendale, California. He'd been working in restaurants for a few years, from a dishwasher to a fry cook to a manager. He'd learned everything he could about the business, supply, consistency, customer service, and PR. He educated himself and saved his money. So, when the tiny 10-seat hamburger joint was for sale, he bought it, making his dream come true. In 1937, a customer asked for something different than the usual hamburger. To be funny, Bob made him a giant sandwich. He sliced a bun into three sections, adding two patties in between, along with his special sauce and some cheese. It was an instant hit, and the double-decker burger was born. One of Bob's frequent customers was a six-year-old boy named Rick. Obsessed with the burgers, he'd offer to sweep the floors in exchange for one of those double-deckers. The young boy was full of life and good cheer, and one day, Bob greeted him with, Hello, big boy! After another regular customer sketched a cartoon of Rick on a napkin, Bob was inspired to name his double-decker cheeseburger The Big Boy. The burger was hugely popular, leading Bob to rename his restaurant Bob's Big Boy. A second Bob's Big Boy opened in 1938. Big Boy's success in California gained national attention, allowing Bob to license out his franchise. He licensed the opportunity to sell his signature Big Boy Double Decker Burger, not the naming rights to his restaurant, Bob's Big Boy. That's why, depending on where you lived in the country, the Big Boy title usually followed after the possessive form of the owner's name. There were several dozen of these, including Arnold's, Azar's, Elby's, Fritch's, Kipp's, and Shoney's. In 1952, the Elias brothers were the first to open a big boy franchise in Hazel Park, Michigan. The Midwest loved big boy, and by 1964, the Elias brothers had opened 100 big boy restaurants in Michigan and Ohio. Marriott Corporation purchased Big Boy in 1967, with the Elias brothers buying it from them 20 years later in 1987 and moving the headquarters to Warren, Michigan. After bankruptcy in the year 2000, the chain changed hands a few times. chain perhaps is best known for the iconic mascot of the cartoon boy with his pompadour hairstyle and red and white checkered overalls. The same little boy, Rick, that inspired the name also inspired the trademark caricature. And the plaster statue of him stood in front of every entrance. Various franchises altered the little or big boy over the years, adding a ball cap, changing his hair color, etc. In 1981, the burger he carried on a tray was removed to place emphasis on the full menu offered. Some of those other favorite items on the full menu included the Belgium waffle, loaded with strawberries and whipped cream, the Slim Jim, the Dolly chicken sandwich, onion rings, milkshakes, and pie. In 1956, Bob commissioned a comic book to give away to the kids. Originally called The Adventure of Big Boy, and then changed to Adventures of the Big Boy, the comic book was a promotional piece to occupy kids while they waited for their food. 
It chronicled the adventures of Big Boy, his friend Dolly, Dog Nugget. Kids could then join the Big Boy Club, which offered free burgers, cards, and buttons. The late great Stan Lee actually wrote the comics for the first five years. After 39 years and 466 issues, Big Boy canceled the comic book series in 1996. A revamped version, called Big Boy Magazine, took over and ran until 2008. After 63 issues, that too was retired. The Big Boy figure became a smash hit with merchandising. Smaller versions of the famous statue were made into money banks and bobbleheads. If you still own any of these items, they actually might fetch you quite a nice price today. Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, California was built in 1949, and today it's the oldest remaining Bob's Big Boy in America. In fact, California has even deemed it an official point of historical interest. Going there is truly taking a step back in time. On Friday nights, they host a classic car show, attracting classic car lovers from all over the LA area. On Saturday and Sunday nights, they even offer the throwback car hop service. Dreams come in all shapes and sizes. For Bob Wyan, it came in the shape of a jolly little boy with checkered overalls and a pompadour haircut. It came in the playful creation of a new hamburger, the Double Decker, that's been copied by restaurants for decades. And it came in the passion and precision to perfect the restaurant experience for all ages. While there may not be as many big boys around today, we can all remember the atmosphere and the delicious food. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.